Hi everyone, this is Joe Stevenson here and my friend. Hi, I'm Tom Galicchio here. We're bringing you Lesson Plan 5, which is dealing with side control and the underhook from bottom. We've gone over side control the other two lesson plans, but it was all without the underhook. Um, the underhook is one of the most important things from top and bottom side control. We're going to go over both positions right now, um, starting off on my back. So enjoy Lesson Plan 5. My partner has side control on top of me, and he has the cross side underhook. Right now, I want the underhook, and he's not going to relinquish it. He's very tight. So what I need to do is make space. I normally start off with an oompa, and as I oompa, I'm going to pull this elbow down to the mat. When I get that elbow down to the mat, he's super tight. I can't, if I just bring this hand here, he's going to key lock me, because people teach that. So what I want to make sure I do is once I've seen my hand, go ahead and sit up, sir. My hand has reached the C-clamp on his hip bone. And now once I'm here, he cannot come back in and close this space. I'm keeping that space. Once he's on top of me, I will bring this other hand to his neck. And instead of pushing him away, I'm going to scoop my body out to make the space. Once I make that space, I'm going to pivot my arm to the inside of his head. I'm going to bring my other hand from underneath on his hip to my hand here. Now this is that A-frame where I'm trying to push away. He's going to crowd. I don't want to make the mistake of trying to shove Tom away. I'm once again going to scoop my body out. From here, my elbow pummels inside and I shove it down violently as I pummel my underhook. Once I have my underhook, if he doesn't whizzer, I can come out the back door. When he does whizzer, I'm going to bring my knee up with my arm. And when he pulls back with his weight, I'm going to follow it back down and go to my single leg. Once I'm here on my single, I'm going to escape my hip from down to up and stay nice and tight. I don't want to be elongated. I want to be in there tight. I can shoot to the far leg and far leg drive across and pass. Then I don't want to keep this here because he'll reverse triangle. So I'll pass instantly and go into my side control. This is one of the most important ways to get out from side control. If he doesn't whizzer, you can just scoot to the back. We get in here and I pummel that underhook and he doesn't whizzer. I bring that leg up and I go out the back door to take his back. So that is Lesson plan five, part one.